Yo, what's up guys? It's King Sean here, and what a win for the Commanders, a win we desperately needed to get back on track for the season. Um the Washington Commanders defeated the Green Bay Packers 23 to 21, and I mean an absolute wonderful game from everyone. Taylor Heineke, he balls out. He wasn't great in the first half, but he pulled it together and found a rhythm in the second half. Um Terry McLaurin, I mean, oh my, Terry McLaurin is clutch. I'll get to all of this later in my video, but before I get to my video, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe and turn on notifications on the road to 900 subscribers. So if you could leave a sub down below. And with that out of the way, let's get to the video. So, like I said, what a game. Just what a game. I mean, everybody, everybody balled out. I mean, Taylor Heineke, he was he was amazing today. He didn't, he wasn't really great in the first half. I think he started out the game like one of seven for 17 yards and an interception. So not great, but he picked up a rhythm in the second half and he kept with it. He stuck with it. Terry McLaurin absolutely balled out today. Absolutely. He was so, so clutch in so many moments. That last play, I think the second or third to last play on our um, final drive of the game, Heineke, he found Terry McLaurin on Jair Alexander um, for that clutch first down, um, I think third down conversion. I, Terry McLaurin c was cooking was cooking Jair Alexander all day, and even the first quarter and the first half in general. Um, but Taylor Heineke couldn't really get it to Terry McLaurin's way because he was kind of um, throwing it behind Terry McLaurin sometimes. But Taylor Terry McLaurin absolutely balled out. Taylor Heineke on that bomb to him, um, the 37-yard touchdown. It was absolutely beautiful. That's Taylor Heineke. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. And we talk about how Taylor Heineke doesn't really have an arm, and he really doesn't. But he's he's um gotten stronger. His arm has gotten stronger, and we saw it right there on that play. That is probably like the deep, the furthest um I've seen Taylor Heineke throw a ball. I'm not gonna lie. And that was just a beautiful pass to Terry McLaurin for that touchdown. Like I said, Terry was cooking Jair Alexander all day long. I mean, it was it was painful to watch. I'm not gonna lie, it was um. Curtis Samuel, he balled out to five catches, 53 yards. Um, Armani Rogers was really good. Antonio Gibson, he had a really good day, too. On uh, Taylor Heineke's first touchdown pass, um, he threw it kind of a bit high, a little bit high. I think it was in the first half, but he threw it in a little bit high. Um, and um, Antonio Gibson got both feet um, down and bounds. It was just a beautiful beautiful touchdown by Antonio Gibson. Brian Robinson, he had a good day too. 20 carries, 73 yards. Overall on the ground, like I said in my keys to victory in my um, preview video, uh, one of my keys to victory was establishing a run game, um, especially early on, and we did that. 38 carries, 166 yards. Um, it was it was a really good day for um, rushing-wise, as well as um, receiving-wise. Terry McLaurin, like I said, good day. Curtis Samuel had a good day as well. Armani Rodgers, he made a couple of plays. Like I said, Antonio Gibson, he had that one touchdown. Cam Sims even had, I think, like out of the backfield – um, the pass from Taylor Heineke that set us up actually I think for us Joey Sly field goal that made the game 23 to um, 14 um, Dax Milne he had a catch and everyone um, Cole Turney he actually got injured during the game he suffered a concussion because Taylor Heineke threw the ball a little bit too high although Cole Turner had it I think it was Rasul Douglas who um, knocked it out of his hand and Cole Turner fell hard to the ground. So he's out the rest of the game for a concussion. Hopefully he's okay. But um, uh, yeah, that I we I mean receiving wise, amazing game. Brian Robinson even had a couple of screen passes as well. Um, the defense, the defense now, although they weren't really great towards the last drive, the second to last drive for the Packers, the Penalties killed us. The penal I feel like the refs were against us all game. They were against us all game. Okay, on the final drive, the second and final drive for the Packers when they scored, um, Kendall Fuller, he got called for a holding call. Or it was either him or Benjamin St. Juice. And it was a third and four. We were about to get off the field. Third and four. Incomplete. I think it was intended for Sammy Watkins, and they called the flag. It didn't even look like um, a holding or a pass interference, in my opinion. And then there was this other call, I think it was either on that drive or um, earlier in the game, on Montez Sweat, where they called a face mask on him, but he didn't even grab the face mask. He he grabbed his neck. He, like, um, p 
pointed his hand towards his neck, not the face mask. So that was another bad call. Bad calls all around for the refs. Um, they were against us all game. And even there was this one drive, right, where I'm pretty sure Tressway punted it, pinned him down at the one-yard line, and the refs decided to go back and look at it because they thought Christian Holmes um, – stepped out of bounds and then was the first player to touch it not realizing Percy Butler was so they had to go back and review it we still got they still got the ball at the one yard line though so it was the refs the, the refs were against us all game long but we still managed to pull out a victory um defense they played well the defense played other than that the last drive in my opinion um the defense played well Cole Holcomb nine tackles um five solo tackles Cam Curl Although he got Moss, I'm not going to lie, he kind of got Moss by Aaron Jones on the Packers' last scoring drive. It was just a really good play and a really good throw by Aaron Rodgers. So I can't really p put too much blame on Cam Crow for that. Um, Derek Forrest, he had a solid game. Jamin Davis, he played really good. Five tackles and two tackles for loss. Yeah, Jamin Davis, he's, he's looking really good. Maybe not up to a first-round pick yet, but he's getting there. He really is getting there. Kenneth Fuller, he had a great day today. Um, yeah, I think he had a pass deflection, like one or two pass deflections. And other than that flag, which I thought the refs, like, I, that was not a pass interference at all. Um, Kendall Fuller, he was really good today. Benjamin Sandwich Juice was also good today. We didn't have a single sack all game, which is kind of disappointing, considering David Bakhtiari was out, so Montez Sweat could, um, you know, get more pressures on Rodgers, maybe even a sack or two. Um, but we still managed to get a win, so that's all that matters. Um, hopefully we can have a sack, um, get some turnovers next week against the Colts. Um, Deron Payne, he was good. Rashad Wild Goose, he was all right. Um, John, James Smith Williams, I didn't really notice much from him today. Same with John Allen. Actually, I don't think John Allen had a single tackle today. But um, that's all right. Um, we still managed to get a win. I think he had a, um, some pressures too, so that's good. So, yeah, defense was pretty good today. Um, special teams, really good. Tressway, Tressway is the best punter in the NFL. I don't care what anyone says. Best punter in the NFL. He pinned a six, He had a 67-yard punt, and that was the punt I was telling you guys the refs tried to cheat us on because they thought Christian Holmes stepped out of bounds before touching the ball um, and pinning it at the one-yard line, but... I mean, Tressway, 67-yard punt, pinned them at the one-yard line, and there was another punt or two. He pinned them inside the five- or ten-yard line. Tressway was amazing today. Uh, Joey Sly, he missed that one field goal, which could have been really crucial for us, really crucial if we didn't get – if he didn't get that field goal on our second to last, last drive, I'm pretty sure it was. But um, he eventually clutched up with that field goal, so that's good um, for Joey Sly. But other than that – Great game from us. Great game. Oh, yeah, Taylor Heineke, he did have that pick six in the first half that put us down 14-3. That was kind of bad. I think DeAndre Campbell it was who made that. He, I think it was intended for Curtis Samuel. He basically ripped it away from Curtis Samuel when um, Heineke tried to throw it to him and then took it back for six. So that's really the only bad play from Heineke and some few miscues in the first half, like throwing behind his receivers and stuff. But overall, Heineke was decent today. He really was. Um, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, he did not look good today at all. He had two touchdowns, but I don't know. Aaron Rodgers, he's looking a little suspect. It may be time to uh, retire, but we'll see about that. But overall, great, great win, 23-21. to 21. We won this game. Go and Get in the comment section down below. Tell me how you guys thought about this game um how t everyone performed the offense the defense the special teams all that good stuff um and enjoy this win we play the Colts next week um four o'clock game next week on Fox so uh enjoy this win and it's been King Sean and I'm out peace